Breaking news, the mother of four-year-old Sequoia Samuels has been charged with child abuse and abuse of corpse. Memphis police say a man who is possibly her boyfriend has also been charged with making a false report. Now, the shocking update comes just hours after Memphis police say they found a body near the home of Sequoia Samuels that she lived in. This is on Caudwell Avenue in North Memphis. The TBI has confirmed that the four-year-old has died, saying it is with heavy hearts that we share the search for four-year-old Sequoia Samuels has ended as investigators believe she is deceased. We wish comfort for all of those who knew and loved her. So this, of course, has been a tragic story we've been following since midday Thursday. Right now we have live team coverage with the latest on the arrest, the body that has been found, and the search that brought national, state, and local agencies to Memphis. We begin with Action News 5, Sydney Hawkins. Sydney, you have new details, and we do want to warn our viewers, they're pretty graphic. Yeah, this is just a heartbreaking story. Developments coming almost every hour of this story. Uh, we just received the affidavit from Memphis police that says four year old Sequoia Samuels has been dead for weeks. They say Memphis police say that uh, the mother, 24 year old Brittany Jackson, lied about the statement that Samuels was missing. She says her boyfriend, her alleged boyfriend, 21 year old Jalen Hobson, beat Samuels and was dead weeks ago. They've been storing her home, her body in this North Memphis apartment for weeks. Again, just graphic information. Now, let's take you back to the original story that Jackson allegedly told Memphis police yesterday. Memphis police say that they received a call around 630 that Samuels was missing. They say that Samuels walked out of that home around three o'clock yesterday, but the family didn't call until 630. Memphis police got here immediately, spent hours, spent the day searching for Samuels, including the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, as well as Tennessee Bureau of Investigation investigation and a lot of uh, a lot of neighbors also walked around this neighborhood searching for four year old Sequoia Samuels. It was not until midnight tonight or overnight that Memphis police found the remains of Samuels and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation confirmed that they were a little girl. Just a heartbreaking story. I am devastated because it's so close to home. I have a nine-year-old granddaughter at home that stays with me. I am devastated because it could have been my child. Sentiment that's coming from a lot of neighbors this morning. A lot of people that went out searching for four-year-old Sequoia Samuels did not expect this update. They said they were concerned when they couldn't find her but did not want to believe the mother or the boyfriend was involved. Ariana. All right, Sydney, thank you so much. We appreciate that. We know that the scene uh, there has cleared less than an hour ago. And our Sydney Gray, she's there live with a look. Um, she's actually speaking to a family member right now. We're going to listen in to that. This was, they out here looking, so they thought she was there by herself. So I run home and, you know, to see what was going on. And been sitting over there and then there with my mother in law, you know, for the longest. Did Brittany need help with Corey or what, what was the... Brittany got a big support. The Bass family, I'm a bishop, but the Bass family is, um, we've been over here for 32 years and counting. My boys was raised here. When I say Lucille and Johnny Bass has been a beacon in this, this, yes, all over, this is my auntie, a beacon. She's the pastor, a beacon. They have taught us nothing but to love everybody to treat people like we want to be treated mm -hmm. and for this to happen it's a big blow for us y'all it's a big blow it is did you talk to Brittany while the search was going on i did i told her to call the police we were over in that area back there and i said Brittany, we were searching for i said Brittany, have you called the police and she said no ma'am and she called him so i thank god for that you know that we got not knowing, but we got the ball rolling. That so what have morning? police told you happened? I mean, have they told you any clue as to what happened to Sequoia? I haven't talked to anybody. Everything on the news. Yeah. Everything on, on the, the news. Everything on the news. Ain't nobody talked to us. Nobody. Does it hurt your heart that you told Brittany to call the police and she possibly knew deep down mm -hmm. uh, what mm -hmm. had happened? It's unimaginable. Mm -hmm. Unimaginable. I couldn't fathom why she just didn't say, hey, Carolyn. 
it's over. And my other sister-in-law in the house, she's tore up Shaquita. She walked around with her. We didn't know. Have you all had concerns about Sequoia's well-being before this situation? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I haven't. I've only seen Sakura like I always see her with that smile, jolly, happy. Zaria, the other babies, same way. They run and jump in your arms, just like kids do when they treat it right. You know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about the relationship with Sequoia and her mom, Brittany. Well, when I seen it, I mean, I didn't see anything, honestly. God is my witness, I wouldn't lie, because what happened to her, Lord knows if I could have did anything, anything to have that baby still here, I would have did it. So, we know, I know you said that you haven't seen her in about a month. She so, was at my house about a month ago. During this time, what were you being told about where she was? Well, I wasn't being told anything. Yeah, my mom. It's just she'll call my grandbaby, our money, and ask her, when she babysits, so our money in turn come and say, Grandma, Brenda want me to keep the baby and then, of course, they can come now. Hey, I'm Grandma, I'm everybody Grandma. I'm Grandma in Kip School. Everybody over there call me Grandma. So, hey. Well, Grandma, let me ask you this. Yes. If Brittany were here right now, and she's probably going to look at this later on, yeah, what words could you tell her? I mean, obviously, she's let the entire family know. I say, Brittany, why you didn't call A.T.? I got grandkids that's not even mine, don't even belong to me, and they call me grandma. Like I said, a whole school, even when I walk in the office, hey grandma, why you didn't come to us? Why you didn't come to Pastor Brown? Why you didn't come to Sam? This is an at church. Why you didn't come to one? Pastor, right here. Too many people around you that would have helped you do yeah. this. Too many. Ain't no way we would do that. No, we wouldn't have did that. We wouldn't have judged her or anything like that. Because the Bible said at least we be judged. You know what I'm saying? So Did you know just, any did you know anything about her boyfriend at all? Speaking. No, I really don't. I just I just know that he did. Besides prayers, what more can your community do for your family right now? Um, I don't know, just I think prayer is the only thing I can think of. Prayer is it? Prayer is it. Just keep us lifted up before the Lord and give us strength day by day that we can make it and not hold nothing in our heart against Brittany, Jayla, none of them. Because, you no, know, who are we? At least we fall, you know what I'm saying? So, just. You prepare a memorial service. There's a there's a GoFund page out there that the family does not do. We, we don't have a GoFund page out there, so it's unfortunate that people are taking this opportunity to put on a GoFund page. But we have not the family no. have not done a GoFund page. I just want to make that aware. Okay. And, and my last question: We're under, we're told that Brittany has another child. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Where's that? Uh, I don't know if we can say. Anything okay, about but I mean, she's safe. Yes, yeah, she's, she's safe. safe. Oh, definitely. I'm so sorry. Do you mind giving us your name? I know I walked in a little late. Sure. Carolyn Bishop. That's C-A-R-O-L-I-N B-I-S-H-O-P. And you are a, what, which family member? I'm so sorry. Oh, well, I'm Inca's the grandma, sister-in-law, okay. which is Brit Brittany is my niece and all right, we were just listening in to uh, the family members of four-year-old Sequoia Samuels after learning that unfortunately she has died. We are going to check back in a little later with uh, Sydney Gray and Sydney Hawkins and be sure to stay with us on this story throughout the day, both on air and online.